Okay, Greg Silva, Black Belt Excellence. Hey, we're into self-discipline. Last week, we talked about active self-discipline. Active self-discipline is just kind of helping the kids realize that it's if it is to be, it's up to me or it's up to them. And they're doing that by blocking out distractions. We get distracted from our goals. Uh, you know how it is. Uh, how many people start at the beginning of the year making sure they're doing some night for New Year's resolution and they're going to the gym and then all of a sudden they get distracted by doing something else and all of a sudden they lose sight of their goal? What's well, the same thing with kids? And we just made it really fun. Hey, if you have active self-discipline, block out distractions. This week we're going to be talking about reactive self-discipline. Reactive self-discipline is when something happens, how do we react to it? So if all of a sudden a kid is being made fun of in school, how's he react to that situation? Is he gonna get mad, lose his temper, punch the other kid? How's he gonna react to it? Well, we wanna make sure that I got this. That is good. Uh, if this happens to you, kid goes, I got this. Uh, so that's what's gonna come back when we ask the kid, what is reactive self-discipline? We got this. So you gotta give them a couple of different scenarios. So. You came home from school and all of a sudden you realize you left your best hoodie at school. How are you going to react to that? Are you going to just get mad and start kicking the walls and take it out on everything else and your dog and your cat and your parents? No, there's nothing you can do about that. So we're going to just react to it. Hey, it's going to be there tomorrow. You know, I'm going to ask the teacher and if she can't find it, I'm going to go talk to the principal's office, see if someone put it in lost or found. That's how we're going to react. If someone makes fun of you, how are you going to react on that? I know you're going to feel a little bit disappointed, but you got it. You're strong. You have self-discipline. You have confidence in yourself. You've got self-esteem. Why? Because you're a black belt in training. You've got all those things. So if a situation comes up that gets you up really upset, you just got to make sure you react the right way. So that's reactive self-discipline. And guys, when we're uh, doing the workout today, I'm just say, hey, everyone, can everyone do this? All you, everyone's going to yell out, I got this. So if you have a challenge, I got this. So have a lot of fun with this when you're teaching the students. A couple of different scenarios. You don't have to use my examples. But you got this? <laughs> I just had to put that in there. Uh, again, the whole idea is to make sure they have self-discipline in themselves when things go wrong. Uh, they're not just getting disappointed. They're not uh, losing their temper. You may want to just tell them, hey, if this happens in school, take five deep breaths and then all of a sudden realize that you're a black belt in training. You have your own self-esteem. No one can take that away from you. You own your own power. You got this. So that's reactive uh, self-discipline. Something happens. How do the kids react to it? Uh, do it through your warm-up. Do it throughout the class. Make sure that every time you send them up a challenge, they just come back, I got this.